ago when Magpass uh, decided not to do this event um, and I had 21 weeks in hospital with the old prostate cancer problems and um, I thought it'd be a nice idea to put some money back in the hospital for prostate cancer just to make it aware and everything to do with cancer and uh, it's just took off, it's just gone mad. We've got 320 odd vehicles, we could have had 420. We just hope that everybody has a lovely day and supports us. Lambretta 125, uh, 1963, uh, original Italian. I've had it about two and a half, three years now. Added a few little bits, as you can see, to it. Um, a lot of chrome. And uh, souped up the engine a bit now. It's got a 200cc engine. <laughs> I've only had it since last September, but it's got every receipt with it since it was new, bill of sale. It was rebuilt in 76 and only done about 10,000 miles since then. So it's in pretty original condition. And my old car, been in the garage for six years. I bought it in many boxes. It's now fully assembled, apart from the paintwork that needs tidying up.
show it's called a green goddess. It's an army This is a Land Rover DPV Desert Patrol vehicle used in uh, the first Gulf War. The RAF is a V8, so uh, they're quite fast, getting in, in and out quickly. Um, this is the same, it's based on a Wimic. It's got all the Wimic frames as well. It's got 50 cal on the back here, 30 cal on the front. This one has also got the same armament. W 1945. It's been recently restored and um, came out last year. Did one or two little red events, and uh, this is the first outing this year. Ferguson TD20 from 1950. Originally came from and was brought from Tannic Gardens, Cambridge and was used in the uh, construction of a, the rock guard. Um, also done the grass areas uh, with a gang mower. It's owned by Phil Stalin and it's pretty much in its original condition apart from a paint up in the 80s. 